The critical care pharmacist uh, works daily with our critical care team. It's a comprehensive team of healthcare professionals caring for the ICU patients. We are working side by side with the other healthcare professionals, ensuring the appropriate medications are used, the appropriate doses of the medications are used, and we are monitoring the therapy for efficacy and safety. They have complete responsibility for the medications. All of the anticoagulation is dosed by the pharmacists. Importantly, they're uh, very critical in our pharmacy and therapeutics committee function. They serve as the reviewers and often the experts in determining the best use of medications. The feedback that we've received from that team has been tremendous. They are so thankful every day uh, to have a critical care pharmacist attend rounds with them and be able to make recommendations and be able to answer their questions right on the spot. Having a pharmacist in the critical care unit allows for the decision on a medication as well as the fast delivery of medication and timing is really important. In critical care, as we say, they need everything yesterday. You're uh, really making interventions um, on the sickest patients. What sometimes brings them into the ICU is not what ultimately ends up needing to be treated. There are so many different disease states going on in one particular patient and many different disease states to manage. If there is a problem, you know, if, if there is a dosing adjustment that needs to be done or if there's a drug allergy or if there's a better recommendation, we do it right there, right on the spot. They're relied upon heavily for drug information. They're relied upon heavily for day-to-day -day basic patient management. And there was a a role that the physician saw as, as valuable and the nursing, nursing staff saw as valuable and you were immediately brought into the team and your, your advice and your consultation was respected at a high level. I think for those that want a very rewarding, challenging career, that want to make the biggest impact within pharmacy practice, the critical care unit is one of those places where you can make a very, very large impact. So I think board certification is an important step for pharmacy, and particularly critical care pharmacy. Everybody is licensed uh, once they graduate pharmacy school, but that board certification adds another layer of uh, standardized competence. The credentialing and the certification uh, provides a high degree of credibility with our medical staff. Board certification is something that's universally understood across disciplines. Nursing, for instance, has um, certification in critical care, so I feel that when they know that pharmacists can have a, a certification in critical care, I feel that those nurses will, will feel more confident to work with those pharmacists. Also, uh, it's, it's important from a hospital standpoint in that the vast majority of finances that are spent in an organization are usually spent on critically ill patients. The cost of drug therapy in the ICU is much higher than it is on the regular medical units. So having pharmacists involved in cost reduction and patient safety and drug therapy management is critical to me as a pharmacy director. One thing that board certification does for people is to not only assure a certain standard level of competence, but also a certain high level of maintained competence. Residency is only a snapshot in time, and board certification actually allows somebody to continue to develop their career beyond residency on a continuing basis and allows them to maintain the confidence that they may have achieved during residency. Having a board certification and a competency is something that employers are going to look for. One of my activities is to train um, pharmacy residents and when they finish a residency you know they're very happy to have that but in addition to that I always tell them that you should seriously consider obtaining board certification because it's something else that makes you stand out. We uh, use it as a criteria for how we select our people. We actually only hire uh, pharmacists that are board certified to be our clinical pharmacists. And so uh, we definitely look at the qualifications for people that are applying to our jobs. And so just because they have residency training doesn't mean that they will be competent. There are additional benefits that pharmacists have who are board certified at Ohio State. One of the benefits is that they receive a 2.5% pay increase. At our institution, that can affect the drug therapy management capabilities of the pharmacist or allow them to perform those at an earlier stage in their career instead of having to get additional years of experience or qualifications. They also provide financial incentives upon recertification. An organization actually pays for the tests and all materials uh, to prepare for the tests. 
Well, I think critical care pharmacy is well developed as far as the training path. We have a consistent path from progressing from a student to a postgraduate year general pharmacy practice residency and then critical care especially residency as a second year of training. So that is the, the fastest way for a student to become trained and specialized in critical care. You know, I think it's a unique environment. It's an environment where they're going to get to use a lot of the things they learned in their pharmacy education on a daily basis. It allowed me to have many days to make drug therapy recommendations before the patients were transferred to the floor. And so I got to know the patients very well and could stay with them for a number of days before they uh, recovered and, and went to the floor. And I really enjoyed the complexity of um, all of the elements going on in the critical care unit with multiple disease states and uh, just really had a great time. It was a little overwhelming at first, but uh, was a very rewarding place to practice. I did feel that I wanted to find a niche. I wanted to create a niche for myself and, and, and be specialized, if you will, in something that wasn't really recognized as a specialty yet. And so I've, I've stayed and continued to work in critical care for many years. And now I'm extremely excited to find out that it's be, you know, going to be recognized as a specialty. It's one of the areas of pharmacy where we have data that show that pharmacists you know, make a huge impact in critical care, and I wanted to be a part of that.